Right, we're looking at Cuyumbaba and doing a little bit of detail work, and, and this is the, the third measure of the second page. Uh, you start with a bar, you know, you're here on the eighth fret, right? You start pinching with your thumb and ring finger the D and the E strings. And I and M just follow through on the third and second string. You repeat the first string, then you just move your bar over. Right, so that's the tenth fret, tenth fret. Then start with the D bass. Sorry. You move one position over, right? So you move uh, uh, from tenth position over to eleventh. So one more time here. Why am I setting up two? Let's just make sure that two is on the 12th fret, four is here on the, on the, on the 14th. So P and I, that P, P plays the bass, I and A just play together. Now, as you play the B string, it's always the bass is going to be D, G, B strings, right? Of course, the G and the B are no longer, uh, you know, G and B is as A and D. All right, this is a mordant. Chuck, you play together, double stops, the second and first strings on your right hand. You're going to hammer the four and pull it off. Right? One, two frets over to the C sharp, well, C sharp on the score. Right? Then get to seventh position. In the score, because of all the ties that, that, that the composer had to put in, uh, it's a little bit harder to bring it out of the page, but it really is a simple, it's as simple as that, right? The B has to just ring through, that's all. And then you are back at the beginning of the piece, right? you get to this part right so we're coming out with that same place that we started this video on again this is the second time the second repeat start with your D bass the same G and, and, and E string then uh, you're gonna chuck the first two strings and do the morden instead of going to one back to four two frets over right So here you are setting up, um, so you got on the 15th fret, let me make sure that I'm not telling you a lie, 12, it's 16th, yeah, 16th fret for the pinky, right, so you land here, I'm, a, I'm ahead of myself, so here's the second ending, just G and B, right, now you're going to actually start the motion that I was playing by, by memory before. Start by plucking the first string, that's your pickup, right? So you pick up with that. So you're gonna pinch the, the fourth and the first string, thumb and ring, G string, and then B string. Remember that you have half stacked right here on the fifth, uh, 15th fret, the ring finger, right? Again. And then you do your pickup again except that you're going to move from the 15th fret to the 14th fret with two and three. Then open basses, right? D, G, B, right? Then pick up again and you repeat it. And again, one last time. the return it tends to confuse people right start with open D then of course you're going to go to the G and the B the, when you enter the G you get the first string then when you get to the B you're going to chuck that with the B with the E string and you have a morden right together with the B and move your second finger two frets over then your pinky again then two Mordant, right, one with G, then B string and two, 
And then Morden, just E string alone. I know that in the score it looks like you have to play a bass, but it's just basically all your bass is tied. Tied. Then move one, two frets back with bass. G and three. Then pinch the first two strings, Morden with the index and three. And then move two frets back to seventh position. Three. Second string. Hammer. So here is very slowly starting on the second uh, the second ending. Pick up. Follow that with a bar on your eighth fret, right? You have a B flat there. You're going to play with your thumb the fourth string and roll all the first uh, four strings. Your pinky is going to start out on the B string, right? The pattern for the left hand is pinky on the 12th, then ring finger on the 10th, then your bar, of course, the eighth. Then you're going to do the same thing on the third string. So that was the second string. And then on the third string, return. The third finger is going to occupy what the pinky was doing. All right, now let's do it with the harmony. Now, it's important to actually know the pattern that you have here. The pattern is pinch E bass and G string going to chuck the first two strings with mid middle and ring, thumb on the D string, and end with the index on the G string. That's the pattern. Right, so that is your pattern. Now, as we start... Same thing on the fifth position. The advantage here is that they are adjacent. That is your seventh fret and this is your eighth fret. Again, pinky, ring, bar, and then on the same the same thing on the third string. And again, you can either move your ring finger over or just use your pinky. Now we put those two together, bar on the eighth. position here is where you're not going to like me too much or, or maybe Mr. Domenicone he's the one that wrote it you have quite a stretch you're making a bar here on the first position and your pinky stretching out all the way to the fifth fret the advantage here is you're not going to start with the B string it's all G string here and by the way you're not hitting the D string right first three strings three on the third fret Three. And by the way, on the score, he says to use two. I find it easier to use three. Then you actually are going to get all the way to your third fret, uh, fifth fret here. fifth and then the pattern of accompaniment and then a quick 16th note hammer on the third fret he uses four you could use three if you want so 
First is quick hammer. Slow hammer on seven. Right, so he breaks a little bit the right hand pattern. So without bass. Slow hammer. Without bass. serving the index finger of the right hand for every one of those third string plucks. Then you actually make a bar on your fifth fret and you kind of start over. So what you did here, you're going to do here, which is two and four. string, first string, and you are one empty fret away from your bar on the fifth, right? And then things become a lot easier. All right, you slide up, this is your ninth fret, right? You're in seventh position with three in the first string, and everything else is open. Stretch your pinky to the eleventh fret, make your bar on the seventh. Right? D, G, B. So D alone, G with first string on the pinky where it's an 11th and then chuck the first uh, two strings. One moves up to the second string, open, open. Right? And then you're going to do something similar to what you did earlier before, right? It's on the fifth fret. Um, so start with three on the, on, on the seventh fret, se second string. And just on the fifth fret, you just do fourth all the way through first. Then on third position, slide up. So this is third, fifth, slide up. Now that part is tricky on the right hand because you're pinching the second string, G string with index, ring finger grabs the E string, and middle finger grabs the second string. You could use three or four. It's not noted as four in this chord. So. Third, fourth, first, second. Third, fourth, first, second. Pinch. Third, first, second. Third, fourth, first, second. And then you're making a bar on the third fret, on the 10th fret, sorry. Stretch your pinky, you're here on the 14th fret. Then back to three, and then three again, but with everything else open. But back to the seventh fret, open, open, open. And then you're back here on the fifth fret, doing the same business that you did before. back to the very beginning until you see the word fine um, and that is the senior is pretty much the beginning <laughs> 